When NASA made the decision to power down part of Voyager 2, Elon Musk was quick to express his frustration. For over four decades, Voyager 2 has represented human ambition, venturing into the farthest reaches of space. Now, with one less instrument on board, Musk is questioning whether NASA made a costly error. Could there have been a way to keep the mission fully operational, and what does this mean for the future of space exploration? In 2024, Voyager 2 remains out there, traveling over 12.8 billion miles from Earth, continuing its journey through the vast unknown. It almost feels like something straight out of a science fiction story, doesn't it? But this isn't just any spacecraft, it's a crucial piece of human history, still exploring the cosmos and sending back groundbreaking data. Recently, however, NASA made the difficult choice to turn off one of its key instruments, the plasma science device, which has been vital in studying space beyond our solar system. That decision has sparked controversy. Elon Musk, the visionary behind SpaceX, is publicly criticizing NASA, suggesting they missed a significant opportunity. But is he right? To understand Musk's concerns, we need to take a step back. When NASA launched Voyager 2, it was designed to embark on a grand tour of the outer planets, and it delivered in spectacular fashion. It gave us incredible insights into Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, revealing details we could only have imagined. Voyager 2 didn't just complete its mission and stop, instead, it became a trailblazer, continuing beyond the outer planets into uncharted territory, what we now call interstellar space. In 2018, scientists confirmed Voyager 2 had exited the heliosphere, the protective bubble formed by the sun's influence. In simpler terms, it crossed the boundary where our sun's power fades, and the galaxy's influence takes over. That moment was monumental, for the first time, a human-made object had ventured into the void between stars, providing invaluable information about what lies beyond our solar system. The plasma science instrument NASA just decommissioned played a pivotal role in this discovery. It wasn't just another piece of equipment, it was essential for detecting changes in plasma, electrically charged gas. This tool allowed Voyager 2 to sense the shift in plasma flow when it crossed into interstellar space. Within the heliosphere, particles from the sun push outward in a solar wind, but beyond that, the flow is shaped by the galaxy itself. Thanks to this instrument, we now have a clearer understanding of where our solar system ends and the wider universe begins. But now, NASA has turned it off, and for many, it feels like the end of an era. NASA didn't just flip the switch on this crucial piece of technology for no reason, it was a difficult decision, driven by a simple but unfortunate reality. Voyager 2 is powered by plutonium, and as the plutonium decays each year, the spacecraft loses about 4 watts of power. Over the decades, this slow power loss has forced NASA to make tough choices. It's like trying to keep an old car running on fumes, you know it can only go so far, and you have to prioritize which systems to keep running. NASA's engineers have already shut down heaters and other scientific instruments over the years, and now they've had to turn off the plasma science tool. Despite their efforts to squeeze every bit of energy out of the spacecraft, its power budget became too tight, and sacrifices had to be made. Recently, they reached the point where they had to choose between keeping the plasma instrument on or preserving other critical data-gathering functions. So, the decision was made. For those who grew up captivated by space exploration, this news feels bittersweet. Voyager 2 isn't just a machine, it's a symbol of human curiosity and our quest to understand the universe. NASA's announcement that they had to shut down the plasma instrument feels like the end of an era, much like watching a beloved character in a movie reach the final chapter of their journey. There's a sense of loss. But Elon Musk doesn't see it that way. To him, this is more than a necessary decision, it's a failure to innovate. Musk, who's built his career on pushing boundaries with reusable rockets and visions of colonizing Mars, doesn't take limitations lightly. It's easy to imagine him seeing NASA's move as giving up on one of humanity's greatest achievements. And maybe he's right to some degree. Musk sees the Voyager 2 story as both inspirational and a reminder of what could be improved. In his eyes, shutting down a tool that's still capable of gathering valuable data is a step backward. He'd likely question why NASA wasn't more prepared, why they didn't find a way to boost Voyager 2's power before it reached this point. 
In Musk's world of rapid innovation, as seen with SpaceX, it's possible that he believes this mission's life could have been extended further. The irony, of course, is that NASA, the organization responsible for monumental achievements like landing humans on the moon and sending rovers to Mars, is now being criticized for not thinking big enough by Musk, a new leader in space exploration. It's almost like a student calling out their teacher. NASA has been the backbone of space exploration for decades, but being a government agency, it's tied down by red tape and budget constraints. Innovation doesn't always happen as fast as it does in a private company like SpaceX, where Musk can make decisions swiftly. Still, there's no denying NASA has done an incredible job keeping Voyager 2 operational for this long. When it launched in 1977, no one expected it to still be out there in 2024. The fact that it continues to send data from the far reaches of space is a testament to the brilliance of NASA's engineers. And yet, it's hard not to wonder what might have been if the agency had embraced the forward-thinking approach Musk advocates for. This isn't to say NASA hasn't tried everything they could to keep Voyager 2 running, they've been incredibly resourceful, shutting down non-essential systems and making adjustments to prolong its life. But with aging technology and dwindling power, there's only so much that can be done. It's like keeping an old car running with makeshift fixes, eventually, something has to give. This brings us to the bigger picture. The plasma science instrument on Voyager 2 was giving us data that no other spacecraft could provide, helping us explore the edge of our solar system and the unknowns of interstellar space. Turning it off means losing a direct line to this vast, unexplored territory, a significant loss. We're potentially missing out on discoveries that could reshape our understanding of the universe. For those of us who've been captivated by space exploration since childhood, this feels like a step backward. It's like closing a book just when the story's getting really exciting. And that's probably what frustrates Musk the most. He's not just interested in exploring space, he wants to conquer it, to make it accessible, and to keep moving forward despite the obstacles. Seeing the plasma science tool go offline must feel to him like slamming the door on a world of possibilities. Elon Musk, ever the visionary, sees this moment not just as a disappointment, but as a call to action. For Musk, space exploration shouldn't be bound by the limitations of the past. His focus is on pushing boundaries and finding solutions to problems that NASA, as a government entity, might have to accept as inevitable. And in some respects, he has a point. NASA has done an incredible job keeping Voyager 2 operational for so long, but Musk believes we should aim even higher. So when Musk sees Voyager 2's shutdown, he views it as a failure to plan for the long term. He'd argue that if NASA had adopted the forward-thinking mindset that SpaceX embraces, they might have found a way to keep the spacecraft running. Whether by boosting its power supply or sending a mission to upgrade its systems, Musk's world is one where such bold ideas aren't far-fetched, they're exactly the kind of challenges he thrives on. But there's a reality check, NASA isn't SpaceX. As a government agency, it faces bureaucratic hurdles, has to work within budget constraints, and is accountable to Congress and taxpayers. It can't always take the kinds of risks or make the quick pivots that SpaceX can. And while that frustrates someone like Musk, it's a necessary part of NASA's operations. Under Musk's leadership, SpaceX has shown that private companies can move faster, be more cost-effective, and in some cases, outperform government agencies. Yet, despite all these accomplishments, Musk likely feels constrained by the current limits of what's possible. While SpaceX has made tremendous strides, we're still far from realizing Musk's ultimate vision for space exploration. That's why he sees the shutdown of Voyager 2's plasma instrument as a missed opportunity, a reminder that we need to think bigger, plan better, and be willing to take more risks if we're going to push the boundaries of what's possible. NASA made a tough decision in shutting down the instrument, choosing what they believed was the best course of action under the circumstances. But for Musk, this is about more than one spacecraft. It's about the future of space exploration. He envisions a world where we no longer face these kinds of limitations, where our technology is resilient, and where we're constantly pushing forward, striving to learn, explore, and achieve more than ever before. So, as we say goodbye to this chapter of Voyager 2's journey, we open the door to new possibilities. With people like Elon Musk leading the charge, the future of space exploration looks brighter than ever. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below.